morning and salam ibu petiwiku. About 400 acres of forested land, including in nearby Klau, affected due to raging bush fire at Kampong STC in Sri Aman. According to State Fire and Rescue Department, Bomba, efforts to prevent the fire from spreading further included constructing fire breaks using two excavator units supplied by the District Disaster Management Committee, deepening drains and setting up ponds to allow Bomba to channel water from the prime mover machine into the drains and ponds, and creating access to facilitate a firefighters to move into the affected areas. Bomba reported that three teams were sent to put out fires at six acres in the Kampong STC area, while firefighting operations have yet to be carried out in Klau, and the department is monitoring the situation using a drone as the fire is far from a residential area. It added the officers would look for a suitable location in Sungai Batang Lupar to facilitate the MMEA's Bombardier's aircraft team to obtain water for its water bombing operation in the affected areas. And for your information, the API readings for Sri Aman was 414 as of 10 a.m. this morning. The Domestic Trade and Consumer Affairs Ministry, KPDNHEP, has given an assurance that there is adequate supply of face masks throughout the state amid the haze onslaught. Denying on the indicate a stock of face masks, Sarah KPDN HEP Deputy Director and Head of Enforcement Mohamed Hanizam Keche said that the supply of N95 face masks in the, ma in the market has been increased since early September. He added that the price was under control as it has been set under the Price Control and Anti Profiteering Act 2011. Hanizam also warned that those who breach any provision under the Act will face legal action and urged consumers to lodge reports with the ministry if traders sold the face mask over its ceiling price. Sri Aman residents are urged to conserve water in view of worsening drought, which has caused water levels at treatment facilities in the division to drop. Among the water treatment facilities affected are Buyai, Bayai, Stumbin, Seduku, Linga, Skrang, Nkelili and Lamana Development Scheme. Sarawak Rural Water Supply Department JBALB yesterday reported through its Facebook page that Bayai can only operate to supply 20 million litres per day due to decline, declining water levels at Sungai Unduk, which was at 2.2 metres at 2.15pm yesterday. Therefore, the residents are urged to use water prudently and conserve the usage. Well, that is all for me. I'm Yimes Rani for TV Sarawak. Anytime, anywhere.